Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. For today's video, we're gonna be hiking to the waterfalls along the Thompson River. Uh, this is located about five miles from uh, Whitewater Falls. It's just inside the North Carolina, South Carolina state line. So just inside of North Carolina as you cross the line. Um, currently parked at the beginning of a dead end road here. I'm here and there's one other car that's probably doing the same hike. Um, this hike uh, has four waterfalls, I believe. I'm not exactly sure of the name of all of them, but I will make you aware of that as I approach them. Um, the hike is gonna begin on what is Forest Road 87 right here behind me. I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but it's probably about 30 feet behind me. And uh, this road right here is uh, NC 281. Uh, there are several other waterfalls besides this along along this road and I actually just did a hike to another one and was not aware um, that the parking area for this one kind of shares the same one for White Owl Falls which is the, uh, the other one that I just checked out which will be in a different video than this one but uh, this is a pretty good stretch of road here for finding some kind of few and far between waterfalls or some ones that uh, people don't commonly as hike to so you will not encounter a lot of people on there uh, th this hike is a more adventurous one. Uh, it has the waterfalls. It has some uh, pretty swift uh, creek or river crossings. Uh, we're going to just kind of play it by ear and see see how those are. It has not rained uh, very much here in the past week or so. So I've got kind of got my hopes high that the water levels will be low and safe and very passable. But uh, we'll just kind of see, see how that goes. And this is probably the first time in about a month or so that I've been been able to come back up to the mountains and and get a hike in as I've been uh, making some trips to the beach so definitely glad to be back in western North Carolina and uh, ready to enjoy a springtime hike so I'm going to get another uh, one more bottle of water to put in my bag and uh, hit the trail see you in just a minute so today's date is Saturday April 30th 2022 and it is currently about 69 degrees in this area where I'm at with just a light breeze. So uh, pretty good weather. I would not mind it because it's a little cooler, but uh, overall pretty good weather, I believe. It's looking like it's going to be a good day. Not really a chance in, chance of rain. There's a little bit overcast, but uh, no chance of rain in the forecast. And I'm officially on the trail now. Just a couple hundred yards in. And the uh, gravel service road here. It's starting to kind of fade and uh, be overgrown to where it's just kind of one one stretch of run here, but that may fluctuate and change. But you kind of start out going up up the hill just a little bit, and uh, now we're kind of winding around the corner. I've had this actually had this hike on my list for some time, but it just has not worked out to where. I felt comfortable with uh, the amount of time it's been after we've had a, a good rain to where I felt like the uh, water level would be low enough because that's one thing that I've read about several times that the crossings, or maybe it's just one particular crossing, uh, could be impossible to pass if the water level is high enough. So I think we're going to be okay as far as that, I hope. And I've already mentioned that before, but that's kind of key to to be able to complete this hike for me personally. So, uh, and I actually parked back there where I was standing probably about 45 minutes ago and hiked to White Owl Falls, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, and was down there for just a little bit, just kind of enjoying it. And that same car was there whenever I started, so uh, they've been on the trail for some time. So I'm thinking at some point I will probably cross paths with them, but uh, never know, might not. Very quiet out here. We really don't hear anything but the birds. this will be a very peaceful day I'm not sure what the estimated time it's supposed to take someone to do this but 
it is uh, seven and a half miles round trip I believe if you see all the waterfalls so I'm gonna guess somewhere three to five hours somewhere in there possibly longer just, just depending on how much time how much time I spend taking pictures and video and you know maybe taking a break here and there that sort of thing but we will see kind of tell by the ground that this is still technically a service road even though vegetation is kind of taking it over pretty level so far other than the very beginning only about half a mile in though so things are going to change so the road has shifted into uh, what looks more like a traditional trail here not sure how long I'm going to stay that way or maybe it won't it's already kind of widened out actually as I say that but I did pass the uh, other hikers uh, it was a couple and was one small child and I think they had three dogs with them it kind of caught me off guard at first because they just kind of come out of nowhere barking but they informed me that they made it to uh, just before you could see High Falls, which I think may be the second or third one. And the uh, first waterfall is actually just coming up for me, which is, uh, I think, Reed Branch Falls, which is technically on Reed Branch, I believe, not on the Thompson River, which uh, connects to the Thompson River so it is definitely included on this one but I did collect all the names I think when I was looking at the map just a second ago Reed Branch Simon Rich Falls uh, High Falls and Big Falls and there's actually one called Standing Stone Falls which I'm not sure if there's actually a path that goes to that one it's above the very last one which is Big Falls so we'll have to see We'll have to see how far we can get they they told me that they did not make it the whole way because their their uh, child was tired and they just felt like they needed to head back so they didn't go near as far as what i'm planning to do i don't believe but next clip should be at the first waterfall so off from the main trail the side path that reed branch falls is right here Looks like it's going to get a little steep to get you down to it, but I'm going to put the camera up for that and see you at the bottom. So this is Reed Branch Fall. Probably a good 25 foot tall. Pretty nice spot. There is a big piece of deadfall right here in the middle, which I could climb down and stand on, but I think I'm just going to kind of make this visit a little bit of a quick one. There is a nice little wading pool down here. Three to four foot deep, I imagine. It's the deepest part. But a very nice little spot. You have some wildflowers growing on, that, growing on the rock down there, too. Back on the trail now, headed to the next stop. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, the scramble path down to that one, although it was very, very short, is a bit overgrown in a few places. So just be mindful of that and pay extra close attention and uh, take your time with it because there's a lot of branches going different ways. And had my foot caught for just a minute. Uh, all is well. Continuing on now. Check the map in a second to see which one is next, but I believe we're going to come up on an intersection to where you will go left or right. Uh, one of one of the ways is a short run to take you to a waterfall, I believe. 
might be high falls maybe and then the other main trail which is technically still forest road 87 i believe that that is the whole trail actually this is a trail junction here so i'm going to check my map but anyway as i was saying forest road 87 takes you to the very end of this so it's it's all technically 87. All right, so this part of the trail right here takes you to Simon Falls and uh, Rich Falls and Big Falls. And I believe that this section right here goes to High Falls, which is not actually labeled on my map. But I'm gonna go ahead and turn right here and go uh, check it out and see what we see. And then uh, we'll come back out right here where I'm standing now and we'll make a right coming back from this way. So I'm just documenting that so you'll know exactly where I made my turn at. So I've come to a uh, junction here in the trail. Someone has put a rock right here. Maybe inform you to not go that way, but this is a path that way for sure. And the people that I talked to said something about you could see one of these from a distance. Or you could go down to it, which they didn't want to take their child down to the base of, because it's going to be difficult. But I'm going to go this way. I can kind of see parts of it, a waterfall. Can't really make out how it looks or anything through the trees. But it does start to descend fairly steeply right here. So, I'm head down and see how she looks. Straight through there. So this is what I'm currently dealing with. I made it across one section of the river here and there is a humongous waterfall right there, which I'm assuming is high falls. But I'm, what I'm doing is I'm crossing through a section right here. I'm gonna climb on this rock and try to go through this to get around the, all this right here. It was much more swift right here in front of me so I didn't cross there. But I'm gonna try to get past this rock and see if I can make another path through there. If not, we'll try something else. But I've got to be able to see this one. So this is High Falls. If it's not, I'll put something on the screen correcting myself, but I'm almost positive this is it. I'm going to say that's at least 60 foot tall. Has a main drop and then a side runoff that comes down. To the right of the main drop of it and i can feel the mist from it hitting me standing here and imagine a lot of this area right here would be probably underwater if the water level is much higher it's all kind of damp anyway if you had this area right here to relax if you wanted to and then just beyond that rock over there there's another area I think the other trail may have took you to the top of it, which you wouldn't have much of a view for that, I believe. But uh, this very, very nice. I was not expecting it to be that big. Very big waiting pool in front of this one. All right, so I made it back across to the water. Uh, I would think that uh, I would recommend, it's fairly easy to walk across this. I actually changed my shoes, I put my slides on just so I don't have wet shoes because I still got a lot of hiking left to do on this hike. And it was a pretty, pretty safe spot there just, just take it easy and slow slow and steady is key and uh you shouldn't have a problem uh slipping and falling i do have to go back up some fairly wet spots here which is going to be fun but thankfully it's a pretty short section and then i'll be making my way back to the, the main trail or the the spur trail that will take me back to the main trail so uh, i'm going to put the camera up for just about all of this uh 
spur trail here and when I get back on the main spur I'll uh, let you know back on the spur trail now it's quite the climb back out of there I believe the uh, scramble back up the hill was more difficult than crossing the river down there but we made it and route back to the main trail and at some point I do have uh, a light lunch I packed I'm gonna take a break and I can find a decent place to sit down and have a snack sort of refuel in a sense but we'll wait till we're on the main trail to do that powering on Back on the main trail now. Uh, have my little snack. And currently en route to, on the map, looks like a, a river crossing. And then Simon Falls will be not too far after that. I uh, have no idea how the conditions of the river is going to be. I'm not sure if this is one that I can rock hop across or the level of the water. I'm not sure really of anything about it. Um, so far since I've left that spur junction back there there's been quite a few pieces of dead fall on the tree nothing that can't get around easily but something to keep in mind well, hopefully this water crossing will be something fairly easy to manage I have to change shoes again I will but be nice to not have to do that so we'll pick back up when I reach the water I made it to the river and it appears there's not going to be a very good place to cross without going through the water so we may just change shoes again and almost it's like there's a small waterfall right there I may head step back up the trail just a minute and see if there's a side path to that to see what that is because looks like there's a drop off straight through the trees right there i'm gonna check that out real quick and then uh change shoes i guess the trail picks up right over there so not far back up the trail at all there's a small spur trail it takes you to a cascade right here and there's another one right there that one there maybe eight to ten foot high possibly another one on past it but you can't really see from here I just thought I'd include that before we try to make it across here got across the river wasn't too bad and I'm going down trail now and come to a little almost looks like a campsite it is a campsite there's a little fire area over here hmm. someone has probably been here recently camped it's actually a pretty nice secluded spot too had a little table sitting over there. Very nice. I'm getting ready to attempt the uh, scramble path down to see Simon Falls. Not very far from it, but uh, the trail has took us up above the water, the water line quite a bit. So uh, this is going to be pretty steep. It looks like it's going to be steep immediately. So uh, be similar to. How it was to get to uh, Reed Branch. So here we go. So this one has an excellent spot. A lot of places stand and sit around. And a full perfect view of Simon Falls.
made it back up that one much easier going down than coming back up that's for sure same as the high falls I went down to didn't have to cross any water though so that was a plus i probably say so far that that one had the the uh biggest and I don't know if I'd say the nicest area to kind of sit around I had sitting space but didn't have quite as much of a, a wading pool nice of a wading pool as the others but still had a nice area around completely covered in just a big giant rock slab basically uh, very nice I'm glad, I, I'm glad I checked it out I was pushing for time or you know this was di different circumstances and that one might have been one I would have skipped, but I'm glad it worked out today that I was able to see it. So the next one, I believe, is Rich Falls. Which is, I remember, it's really the only one that I remember uh, vividly in my mind, how it looks in pictures. And it kind of, to me, kind of stuck out in uh, this series of waterfalls on this, this hike. Is the most pic picturesque in a sense definitely not the biggest i don't think but to me just in the pictures i think i liked how it looked the most so uh i'm excited to see it coming up in just a bit so so far since i left the uh simon falls Kind of walking parallel to the river here and can consistently hear the sound of the water which has uh, really been a nice touch nice added bonus if you will to the hike if it's not completely quiet only other thing i don't mind listening to is the sound of water gotten some of each so far and I have not seen anyone else other than the the uh, family on the way in kind of close to when I got started I haven't encountered another person yet um, I'll be surprised if I make it all the way to the end or as far as I go and then all the way back without seeing someone else because I just can't imagine why more people would not be checking this one out uh, it's, I mean, it's not marked with a big parking lot and a trail sign and, you know, maintained like that. It's, maybe it was at one point, but it's definitely not now. There's downfall, uh, deadfall everywhere. The trail's not a total mess, but it's definitely not, you know, maintained like a state park is. So maybe that's some of the, some of the reason why it's just not traveled as much. But... So far so good so we have a lot of interesting looking exposed roots on the right side of the trail trails getting a little more sloppy and sloppy the further I go all part of it so we have some remnants of old logging material which clearly identifies that this service road was in fact like a lot of the other ones in western north carolina an old logging road where they would come in here with a truck or a trailer or some kind of some kind of vehicle and uh, cut trees down and haul them out and they would use a steel cable or something like this to uh, anchor them down maybe I would assume that's what it was for if you have any insider knowledge of that feel free to leave a comment below and share what you know I'm at another creek crossing here a river crossing whatever it is the trail will come from there and I just kind of stepped across here on this rock that I'm on should be able to step on this one and then walk across that one and get to the other side without without getting wet this time 
So I, I seen this one coming up on the map and I was wondering if I was going to have to change shoes again, but this one should be uh, much easier. Got a little bit of a shaded tunnel here on the trail after I made it across that creek trail started to ascend a little bit just definitely got the blood pumping a little more other than the spur trail so far the trail has been a gradual descent or mostly flat it's been pretty pleasant pleasant hiking so far still back there but it's already kind of leveled off again not sure for how long, but, you know, never can tell. Alright, so I've made it to the spur trail for Rich Falls. Which this is going to be just as steep as the other ones, or if not worse. You can only see so far, but the first uh, 30 to 40 feet of it look very steep. Uh, steep enough to where I can probably stay on my feet. And I'll have to slide on my butt, but can't see beyond 30 or 40 feet, so we'll see you at the bottom. I've made it to Rich Falls, and on the way down here, I found out why this trail is ready hard. Very, very steep, and it just really turns into a bushwhack. Very slippery. That's it, just underneath this tree. I'm gonna get a little bit closer in just a minute. This one was definitely my favorite so far. As I anticipated it probably would be. Got down here had pretty good lighting too. There's not any direct sunlight on it. But I'm fixing to start heading back. I'm gonna call over all these rocks right here. To get back to the start of the spur trail, if you want to call it a trail, but this one's gonna take the longest to get back up. And it will be a relief when I, once I make it to the top. Depending on how I feel when I get up there, I may or may not see the final one. It just, just depends. Because the descent to get down to it, I believe, is much worse. Uh, or not, I don't know about much worse, but it's supposedly the worst, and they keep ropes there. There's no telling what kind of condition those ropes are in either. So I don't have one with me. I don't actually own one that's quite long enough to, to get down the descent of that one, but. Uh, we're going to make our way back and make a decision once we make it to the top. So I'm basically climbing through a drainage to get back up here. You get to a certain point and it kind of goes to a scramble path. More so than these uh, water covered rocks. Or semi covered rocks. And, uh, whew, this is going to be exhausting. all right so i got started on the uh, scramble path to big falls and uh at the beginning of it it was not steep i didn't get to the part that was going to be the most difficult i'm pretty sure i did anyway and i uh, was looking at my watch and or looking at the clock and just trying to make sure i can get back out of here because i really don't want to hike in the dark and cross the river in the dark either because i still have to do that one time on the way back I'm actually gonna have to walk through it. So I made the decision to try and get big falls on another trip in the future. So we won't be seeing that one today. So uh, I'm in route back now, really just getting started on the way back. Almost back to where 
the uh, scramble path is for rich falls so uh, I think I've got three to three and a half miles to, to cover I'm just gonna take it easy for a little bit and uh, take a little break here in just a minute take another little break and have some more water and a snack and then uh, get going and finish the hike back probably looking at getting back uh, around dark or just before hopefully I've got 15 to 30 minutes before then so I'm not out here in the dark I just prefer to not be uh, if I was at a campsite or something I'd feel a little different but out here moving around I just it's not something I'd like to do often so I'm going to head back and fill you in along the way made it back to the river currently standing in the middle of it right now so this is what it would look like if it was I, I would say that this is probably low and over here when I stepped in you know I was probably a foot deep over that way and then as I work my way this way eventually it'll get close to that again but if this, the water was higher you know more than low I mean you can see a water a foot higher here and uh, much more of a current too just something to really keep in mind if you try to plan to do this hike to have an understanding of how the the uh, amount of rain has been in the recent days before you come just something to keep in mind So I've got about a mile left, so I'm going to go ahead and end the video here and then just enjoy the rest of the way. Uh, I would personally rate this one, for me, uh, moderate with uh, hard parts. Um, the route you have to take down to see Rich Falls uh, is a couple notches short of a uh, rappel. Um, it'd be great if you had some ropes there you have to have a couple pretty good uh, long ones Maybe 200 footers to put down there If you decided you know you wanted to pack your own That's about what the length you need I would think the other scramble pass were you know, they were tricky, but that one was uh, A little bit harder than the other two to say I'm kind of putting that lightly when I say that but overall the hike i'd say moderate the trail itself the main trail uh, at least 80 percent of it is pretty well flat so if i was only you know grading the trail i might would still give it moderate just because of the length of it as it says around uh it's gonna be around seven miles instead of seven and a half for me because i didn't go did not go down to big falls but i'd still rate it as moderate because of the length and in terms of solitude today, I uh, did, did pretty good as far as that. Saw the people in the beginning, and then I just passed someone a minute ago. A lady was walking her two dogs, and uh, or hiking with her two dogs. And that was the only people I saw the whole time, so it's been a very quiet day. Only other thing I heard was some birds and sounds of the water, and I heard something that sounded had to be at least the size of a deer moving around one time never saw it though but uh yeah i highly recommend checking it out if you do check it out start earlier than i did give yourself more time uh i spent a good minute a good amount of time at the bottom of uh rich falls just enjoying it and hanging out and uh that's my favorite one by far. So uh, if I wouldn't spend as much time taking pictures and hanging out down there, and the rest of the time it probably would have been, I probably would have been okay. But I just not feeling up to walking back in the dark, so I decided to come on back. But all that being said, that's going to do it for this video. If you like this video or videos like these, 
Uh, please consider subscribing if you haven't. And uh, please give me a thumbs up on this video. I greatly appreciate it if you did either of those two things. As they will not cost you anything. And as always, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Made it back.